Everyone, thank you for joining us for this day eight of our 10 days of prayer and fasting. We're uh, praying and believing for an outpouring of God's Spirit uh, as we are praying leading into fresh wind, our week of spiritual emphasis. We're believing for great things. We're excited for what God's going to do. We're uh, thrilled to have Manny Arango with us Sunday through Wednesday. And we're just encouraging everyone to be praying leading up to this week. And so today our uh, prayer emphasis is that we're praying for the nations. We know that God loves everyone and he cares about all the people of the world. And he wants every one of them to be saved. The scripture tells us that God's not willing that anyone perish. There are still over 2 billion people in the world who have never heard the gospel, who have never heard the name of Jesus. And that alone should move us to pray for the nations. Paul told Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 2, he says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. Not only can we pray for unreached people groups, but we can pray for believers who are being persecuted around the world and pray for their persecutors. It's a sad reality that in many places all over the world, Christians are being persecuted and killed for their faith. But listen, we shouldn't pray for that persecution will come to an end because persecution is a sign that the gospel is spreading. The church is growing the fastest where the persecution is the greatest in the world. Pray that these believers will grow in their endurance and, and in their boldness and that God would comfort and protect them. Pray for miracles to happen, that unbelievers would see and experience the power of God and surrender to him. The Bible tells us over and over that no matter what trial or persecution that we face, we can rejoice and consider it pure joy, knowing that it will be used to glorify God. The Holy Spirit will help us to pray. Romans chapter 8 says the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. We don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that can't be expressed by words. You don't need to use the best words or the fanciest words, and you, you don't even need a lot of words. You just need the Holy Spirit to guide you. We know that prayer changes things. It's a weapon against the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Satan and his demons and his evil schemes, they have to flee. The world needs Jesus. We need to pray. In John's Revelation, chapter 7, verse 9, it says, After this I saw a vast crowd, too great uh, to count from every nation and tribe and people and language standing in front of the throne and before the land. They were clothed in white robes and held palm branches in their hands. This is not just a vision from God to John. This is a promise. There will be representatives from every people group in the world with us in heaven. But in order for that to happen, we need to pray. We get the privilege to pray for the nations and for them to hear and know the gospel so that Jesus can come again. Jesus cares about all the people of the world, and he wants everyone to be saved. Will you join me today, and let's pray for the nations. Father, we thank you that we have the privilege to pray for those around the world who've never heard about you. God, we pray for every missionary serving around the world, for every believer, and in these uh, countries where there's persecution. God, I pray that you would uh, bring boldness endurance, uh, just a, a, a supernatural power for them to be witnesses, and that the gospel message would go forth through those who carry your name, who uh, shine your light, who are um, taking the gospel to the ends of the earth. We pray for unreached people groups, uh, that the light of Jesus would shine in the darkest places of this world. We pray uh, for the nations. We pray for the rulers of nations. God, I pray that in these days that, that are the last days, that you would pour your spirit out, that you would pour your spirit out upon every uh, nation, every tribe, every language. We pray, God, that uh, your word would go forth. We pray that the nations would come to you. We are so excited, God, for what you are doing in our world, and we're excited for what uh, is, is in our future. We just pray, God, for your spirit to be poured out, not only in our world, but right here in our city and in our church. And we're believing you for great things. We know that the best is yet to come. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.